this day and age when everything is in your face. It's fascinating to see that the same themes ran back then. Um, and the fact that part of what Dickens is, was interested in is the impact of society on human beings and the striving that took place um, um, in society for the best of this and the best of that and a higher place in society and how that kind of empty striving um, resulted in a great deal of pain and sorrow and lack and loss and and the same thing happens today there's more striving than ever on so many levels we know what it leads to we know that that the type of striving that we have in 2011 is as empty as it was back then I think wherever you go in the world, he everyone has a favourite Dickens novel or a Dickens character. You know, I have I have lots of uh, family in Holland and Spain, and all of them they all they all have a favourite Dickens book. So th he really does resonate around the world, and it's quintessentially British. And and it's not and you know, like in America, they love it because it shows such history. You know, the history of, of Britain, but also has a very all his themes and his his social commentary and his humour all relevant today as well. So I think that that's why it does appeal to such a huge sort of audience. I think it's a story that can be told again and again and again and it's relevant to any time it's told in, you know? Uh, you know, about love, the loss of love and the snobbery and people out of their depth in a class system which they probably don't belong in, you know? Um, what's different with it? Hopefully not too much because the story was such a great story anyway. And obviously you, you bring little bits to it yourself as you're playing it, but it's, because it was so well written, if you go too far off the text, I think you'd probably be making a different story, you know?